I'm Angela Morgan. I'm Kathy Estel. And you're watching Now, now You're, you're cooking. cooking. week on Now You're Cooking, we're going to be cooking for your clubs. And Kathy is a deacon's wife at our church, Northside Baptist in Tahlequah. And Kathy took it upon herself to say, hey, there's a need in the community for a daytime women's Bible study for women who, who for one reason or the other, need daytime to come and do Bible study. And she started a women's Bible study. And I hear the most wonderful things from the women who attend these Bible studies. And they talk about the different prayer requests and the blessings. But then the other thing they talk about is the food. Amen. <laughs> and it's set up, as I understand it, kind of like a light lunch format. Because I always hear about all the different wonderful salads, the pasta salads. And then what Kathy is going to share with us, a dessert. And this dessert you're going to share with us for your California Chews, I think is perfect to take when you have a club dinner, either a club luncheon, a club light lunch, it's a potluck format. And Kathy, share with us your recipe. Okay, I wanted to tell you too that uh, we have the luncheons just about once a month. We don't do it every week because it's too much work. Mm -hmm. But we also once a month have WMU meetings and we love snacks and food and oh, yes. fellowship. So this is a one dish that you can bring that you can share. And sometimes there's a little left for the family. Uh, it's called California Chews and it's a recipe from my mother-in-law so it's kind of dear to me. She was a sweet lady and she brought this back to me, would you believe, from the state of Missouri. Wow. So anyway, she uh, uh, showed it to me. We fixed it together the first time and we mm -hmm. loved it. Uh, my kids love chocolate and I want to oh. say too, all the recipes that I have are adjustable. You can mm -hmm. always add a pack. Great. A, a package of chocolate chip cookie, cho okay. chocolate chips to it. Mm -hmm. So this California Chews, you can also add the chocolate chips if you Wonderful. want to. All right, uh, to get started, I want to tell you it's very simple. All the ingredients go together in one bowl so it can be mm -hmm. mixing while you're getting everything ready. And uh, I usually start with the sugar and mm -hmm. the um, butter. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Okay, butter versus margarine. <laughs> Please share your opinion on that, Kathy, when it comes to like this dish. All right, if you want it to taste like the original, mm -hmm. you need to use butter. You can use oleo or margarine, but you won't quite get the same flavor. Okay. Uh, it's, just, um, it's just a matter of fact. <laughs> yes, you hear it often with the butter versus margarine debate that the flavor is a big issue. Nothing. If you're fighting cholesterol, I don't think the flavor is that much different. Mm -hmm. So I'd go ahead and substitute a low mm -hmm. cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Also, it's so easy. It calls for one pound of sugar and one pound of brown sugar. So I just mm -hmm. buy the pound one box. One pound box. And then and it's there ready pre-measured pre for you. Pure cane sugar, C and H. While that's mixing, then you add three eggs. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you, when you break your eggs, you need to always break them into a bowl mm -hmm. or a cup before you put them into your mix. Mm -hmm. The only time I ever break an egg into the mixture itself, I always get an eggshell. Oh, so yes. So you don't want to break directly. So mm -hmm. use, use a bowl or a cup and always break your eggs. And uh, as those are still mixing, we add and I have a sweet friend that brought me some vanilla back from Mexico, Ooh. but pure vanilla will give you a little different flavor than imitation. Um, I use whatever I have on in, mm -hmm. the, in the cabinet. Yes. So 
Uh, this calls for a teaspoon of vanilla. The flour, two and three-fourths cup. And by the way, the batter will be very thick. You'll have mm -hmm. to kind of spread it in the pan. Don't be alarmed if it's a little thick okay. because it doesn't call for any moisture. And two and three-fourths cup. I almost always add the salt, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder to the flour and sift it together. I think you get a better mix for your, your batter and your, your ingredients are, are, are put in and they're evenly mixed by I've doing heard that. that long story through the years that it's wise to do that beforehand because you will come out with a better baked good if you do that in advance. And I will say this too, if you have had baking powder in the cabinet more than a year, mm. it's time to throw it away and get a new oh, jar. Yes. They're not very, um, it, the lifetime of a baking powder is not very long, so about it, a year. And it will show up in your baking good as well. Yes, if you wonder yes. why things don't <laughs> rise quite right, uh. that's because the baking powder may be old. All right, when you mix all of this together, you'll have a very thick batter. Mm -hmm. At the end of the mixing, add one cup of nuts, and I prefer pecans, all but right. you can use English walnuts, or you can use um, black walnuts, or any other nuts that you want, but I, I always cook with pecans. They're my favorite. Wonderful ingredients go into this, Kathy. I can almost smell it in the oven. And what temperature do they need to have the oven in the 350 oven? for 25 minutes. Check it, and I always use a toothpick to check it. And when we come back to Now You're Cooking, we will try Kathy's California Chews. Women have been selling Avon since 1886, but it hasn't been till recently that you could walk into a storefront and buy a product. Well, local Avon representative Chandra Robertson has brought that to Tahlequah. You know, they're liking the idea of being able to come in and see the product, smell the product, see the colors, and able to buy it right then off the shelf. Chandra does consulting too, so those hard questions like which color looks best on me don't have to be answered alone. Oh, baby, I need a tune-up. And the only place I go is Paceline. Paceline. They have all the right tools, and they really know how to use them. Mmm, Paceline. Paceline. As soon as I get tuned up, I'm going on for a group ride. Join me Tuesday and Thursdays at 6 at Paceline. At Paceline. Mmm, -hmm. Paceline. Paceline. 